Right now I'm an independent journalist and social media researcher in the Middle East and North Africa. I'm based in Jerusalem currently and um, I'm finishing my master's degree at Ben Gurion University of the Negev and I'm also working as independent journalist uh, covering conflict in Israel-Palestine and then also uh, the Arab world in democratic upheaval. I've always been very interested in um, social justice movements and uh, I was very interested in what was going on in Israel-Palestine, particularly the Palestinian nonviolent resistance movement. And I wanted to get on the ground as soon as possible. I had some great advice from wonderful professors and I decided to go um, to Israel-Palestine. Um, I was given a scholarship in Israel and um, some independent work in Palestine and uh, that's how I kind of began my career and it was in the middle of uh, I guess it was the end of 2010 and in 2011 was the beginning of all the revolutions. To be in the Middle East in a time where there was such energy, people power, all these really exciting moments, I couldn't be luckier, I couldn't feel happier to be there in um, a time that really we're seeing major changes and in my opinion for the better. I went to Libya at a time when their media was closed and they knew about the Wisconsin demonstration. So that's exciting that there's some kind of solidarity that trumps race and borders and all of these things that are you know, constructs that we live um, within. So it's been an exciting time uh, being from Madison and looking back at the United States and being from the one place that seemed to have a continued uh, political engagement. Generally, it's uh, pretty safe from day to day. People are living their lives in the middle of these revolutions. And uh, the beginning of the protests on January 25th in uh, Cairo, police brutality was um, something that I'd never seen before firsthand. Um, they were using live ammunition, and that's something I had been to protests in Israel-Palestine. They used rubber bullets generally. Uh, so it was eye-opening to be in Egypt in a time that was so violent. There is um, an incentive to get American media to cover these things. So being a Westerner, uh, many of the demonstrators brought me on and almost sheltered me at some times in um, cases of police brutality. Uh, so I was able to get some incredible pictures um, and great interviews uh, in the midst of the brutality in Egypt. In many cases, people would surround me with tear gas canisters that say made in the USA and want me to take pictures. So uh, for a long time, it was very, um, a, I had a very positive experience and even felt protected in some way as a Western journalist. Um, that hasn't been the experience of many journalists, uh, but um, it has been my experience so far. This is a fascinating time. I think it's one of the things that I think is most interesting um, about the way the Arab world has really leveraged this new technology for um, political purposes. Organizing in a public space, a physical public space, um, can be you know, life-threatening in many ways. Uh, so what these organizers managed to do was make that uh, public space, uh, a digital public space. And that's what's so interesting. They organized online um, in many ways that neutralized a lot of traditional censorships and things like that. And uh, they were able to use this social media for political aims, which is so exciting. I'm headed back to the Middle East. I'm going to continue working there for a while. Um, I'd like to continue covering um, the Palestinian civil resistance, which is as fascinating as it is sophisticated right now. I think it's particularly interesting to an American audience uh, because they have adopted the language that the American civil rights has used. And it's really exciting to see this commitment to nonviolent resistance and also in the uh, many ways of frame that Americans can definitely understand. I have a Twitter account that I use religiously. Um, uh, my Twitter name is at Anna of Arabia. And um, I also have a website, AnnaTeresDay.com, uh, that I update with my uh, professional work, media appearances, and also print work that I do. So um, those are the best ways to follow me um, online and on Twitter. And if people tweet me, I generally respond. So. <laughs>